So a few days ago, I made a video pretty much just going over the new copper rules that YouTube have been forced to implement. Roblox YouTubers forced to quit, yes, again. And I know that titles sound slightly misleading or a little bit like clickbait, but unfortunately, we don't really know what's going on. We are all very confused and terrified to say the least. And so the whole forced to quit thing could be one of the potential outcomes of this situation. We really hope it doesn't come to that, but like I said, we don't know what's going on. Basically, with that last video I made, I just went over the new rules that YouTube would be bringing and what that actually means, but also why everyone is confused and scared. So as a quick summary, the COPPA law is the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act and it exists purely to protect children and specifically their privacy online. It just means that data can't be collected from kids, which is anyone under 13 in the US. And data being things like personal information, so their name, where they live and other things like that. But YouTube has supposedly been collecting data from children when they are obviously not allowed, which then resulted in a big fine from the FTC like a big big fine. So I guess to avoid anything else like that and to now comply with the copper law, YouTube have created a few more rules. Basically, you now have to mark your entire channel as for kids, as not for kids, or you can choose to mark each individual video every time you upload. And with that option, as you're uploading a video, you either mark it as for kids or not for kids, which seems simple enough, right? How could this possibly confuse or scare anyone? Well, basically, if you are sure your channel and videos are for kids and you mark it as such, you then no longer get personalized ads, which means you basically say bye bye to your money. You also get a lot of other features removed along with your ads, which all seems like a pretty big exaggeration and obviously very unfair to channels that actually do create content for children. And there's obviously going to be channels out there that are definitely not for kids in the slightest, but the really big problem comes for those that are stuck in the middle or pretty much stuck in the grey areas. Obviously you know your audience better than anyone and you 100% know who you are making your videos for. Even YouTube themselves have said this. But the FTC, the people who basically run this copper law, have a list of criteria when it comes to deciding deciding what is classed as content for kids. But that list is very, very vague and honestly seems very outdated. Take this one thing as an example of how badly written and outdated the law actually is. They class words such as fun, cool, duh or games to be kids only words. How does that even make any kind of sense? But then all of this then actually creates and leaves a lot of grey areas, which sadly is where a lot of creators find themselves sitting in. And it's not just as simple as tick the for kids box and lose everything, or tick the not for kids box and that's the end of that. Because if you know your content is not for children and so you mark your videos as not for kids, but then the FTC disagrees with you, you personally can literally get fined up to $42,000 per video. So for people like me with around 600 videos, as an example, 600 times 42,000 is over $25 million. And I don't know about you guys, but there is absolutely not a lot of YouTubers out there that have $25 million. Maybe that summary was a little bit longer than a quick summary, but that's pretty much as short as we can make it without missing stuff out. But basically because of this, everyone was absolutely terrified, everyone was very confused, and we were all incredibly worried. Like I'm pretty sure it was so bad that a lot of us ended up having dreams about this whole thing. We were just worrying about it that much. And just like everyone else, Creekcraft made a video about it. This is the end of Roblox YouTubers, Roblox banned, new FTC copy YouTube updates and new changes. And I have to say that Creekcraft has been amazing in terms of giving information about all of this. I'd say he's definitely the person who has spoken about it the most publicly. And although it doesn't help so much with the scariness of it all, it does help to know that I'm not the only person person faced with this and not the only person worrying about this. And going back to Creekcraft for a second, he is actually the person who could potentially save us all from these new rules on YouTube. Because of how much Creek has been speaking about this and because of how much he's voicing his concern and urging everyone else to do the same, he actually got noticed by someone from the FTC. Hey Creekcraft, thanks for sharing your concerns. I'd be happy to meet you in DC and listen to your thoughts about the future of the copper rule and the impact it has on you. YouTubers. And this tweet came from someone called Noah J. Phillips. 
Phillips. And Noah J. Phillips just so happens to be an FTC commissioner. So as you probably guessed, Commissioner Phillips plays a big role in all of this. And because he reached out to Creekcraft, it looks like Creek is going to Washington DC to have an actual meeting with the FTC and hopefully, hopefully save YouTube. In all seriousness though, thank you all for helping all the YouTubers and I get their attention. And thank you at FTC Phillips for caring and reaching out to me. We all really appreciate it and I look forward to meeting with you. To which he replied once again, this time with, I look forward to our meeting as well, Creekcraft. So it really looks like this is official and this is definitely happening. Not only am I very proud and very happy that Creekcraft has managed to get the attention of the FTC and is actually willing to prepare himself and go off and have a real life meeting with the FTC with the intentions of saving YouTube pretty much. But this also would not be happening without Noah J. Phillips. The couple law is already in place, things are already moving along in that way. The entire FTC could have seen all of our concerns and they could have just gone on with their day if they really wanted to. But Commissioner Phillips saw what we were saying, he heard our voices and he chose to listen. Not only did he take time out of his day to respond to Creek Craft, but he also set up a meeting to discuss everything. And it makes me really happy to know that Commissioner Phillips cares enough to do all of this and he cared enough to help us through all of this and possibly fix everything that needs fixing. So the biggest, biggest thank you to both Creekcraft and Commissioner Phillips for giving us all hope when pretty much everyone felt like we had none left. And uh, this isn't necessarily a Roblox YouTuber, but I came across this tweet yesterday from someone named J House Vlogs. Thanks for meeting with me, Commissioners, to hear our concerns with your regulation of copper. We sent over 60,000 comments to the FTC and over 300,000 signed our petition. It's growing fast. So I believe this person is the one who created the petition I shared last time, which you should absolutely sign. We can't be sure if the petition will do anything, but at least trying is better than nothing. And not only is Creekcraft going to meet with the FTC, but J House Vlogs also seems to have done so. So I think it's absolutely incredible that the FTC are willing to sit down with creators and listen to us and our concerns and actually attempt to work through this. I guess I speak for everyone when I say this, but thank you so much to all the creators is that putting the time, work and effort into participating in these meetings and thank you to the FTC for caring enough to listen to our voices and if you guys would like to help you can either sign the petition, you can contact the FTC through Twitter or you can personally leave the FTC a comment with your thoughts and concerns on this whole thing. All three of those will be linked in the comment and in the description but anyway let me know what you guys think of Creekcraft potentially saving YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.